welcome back to another episode of Excellence in Motion. Um, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Um, today is going to be a long form of um, basically me doing a workout uh, that you saw listed earlier. This is C2 Medley. Um, I'm performing uh, 2,000 meters on the C2 bike, followed by 1,000 meters on the Concept2 rower, and then 500 meters on the Concept2 skier. And I want to take this time to sort of coach you guys through how you can appropriately plan this type of workout um, and how to structure yourself so that you're giving yourselves the best opportunity to breathe well um, and to contract your muscles in a way that's going to allow you to give the most into the workout. Okay, so starting from this position, you can see I'm on the C2 bike. Um, I have my arms in a locked out position and my torso is rather upright compared to um, what you might see with some other people on road bike apparatuses. Um, the reasoning for this is I want to give my chest wall as much of an opportunity to expand and be able to bring in air as I try to breathe while I'm on the C2 bike. Um, I'm keeping a relatively moderate pace um, as far as the, the cycling is concerned. I think on the monitor I'm holding somewhere around a 155 per 500 meters pace. Um, which is right where I want to be on that sweet spot so that I'm still fresh enough to go into the row and give it about that same intensity. Um, trying to drive through those pedals with my heels, engage those glutes, fire the quads, and keep my head as upright as possible so that I'm able to breathe well and keep moving through um, on that piece. All right, here you can see we're beginning to start the row. Um, a couple things that I'm thinking about right now to get it going are big strong pulls and pushes through the legs and with the arms. Okay, you're gonna have a little bit of resistance on the row to get started, so you wanna get that off to a good start. Um, as I continue to row at this pace, which I think I'm keeping at about that same pace that I said I did on the bike, um, so right around a 155, um, maybe even 150 with some stronger pulls. Um, I'm trying to drive as much as I can through my legs to start the movement while keeping my chest nice and tall and giving myself enough room to breathe in my lungs before I push all the way through. As I drive with the legs, I give a slight lean in the torso and then finish the movement with a good strong pull, uh, squeezing my scapulas together and finishing all the way through towards my chest. Um, as I catch, that's kind of where I'm breathing in, and then as I finish the pull, I'm breathing out, and I'm trying to keep that as consistent as possible because I know I've got a full thousand meters that I'm rowing, and I still wanna have enough left in the tank to try to give that ski erg as much as I can. Alright, now that we're finished with the row, we kind of begin our transition over towards the uh, ski erg. Um, you can kind of tell already I'm a little tired by this point, uh, needing to take a little bit longer in my transition. Um, this is something that if I were to do this again, I definitely would speed that up a little bit just to get onto the machine and not waste as many seconds sort of mumbling around. Um, but once we get started, you can see you want to use as much of your body weight as you can to get that flywheel moving um, and get those meters to start calculating because it's only 500 meters uh, that's left of the whole workout. Um, so the pace that you find on the ski erg is gonna be how much longer you have left until you're finished. Um, so some key points for performance on the ski erg, um, you wanna make sure that when you're catching at the top, you're allowing your arms to get as high as possible so you have as much range of motion to give the machine itself when you start to go down. On the down pull, I shift a lot of my weight back into my glutes and my heels as much as possible so that I'm 
using my body weight in conjunction with gravity um, to give as much power as I can. And then I finish by activating my lats and pulling all the way through my pockets with my triceps at the end. Okay, breathing is important here. You wanna get a big inspiration at the top, right about there. And that's where you'll get as much air as you can in your lungs because your chest is open. And then breathing out on the down pull as your abs start to contract. Okay, from here, you guys will start to feel the exhaustion of the workout start to set in. Um, but it's really important to mentally keep yourself in it and just keep going as hard as you can because by the end of this, it'll be completely done um, and you will have finished your C2 medley. Um, thanks again for sticking around to watch this video, um, to listen to some tips and some tricks and some good coaching to hopefully help you guys perform your best in doing something like this. And hopefully you can take a bit away from each of the machines themselves um, to help you in your future workouts, um, whether they be um, rowing or skiing or biking in conjunction with other things as well. As always, if you guys enjoyed this stuff, please drop a like, uh, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, I'll catch you guys later in the next episode. Thanks.